In previous video, as a part of my short combat tips and tricks series, we have discussed ways to dominate humanoid enemies in Neo. So today, same treatment awaits Yokai. To put this video off, let's start with some basic analysis on how exactly does the strategy differ from when it comes to dealing with Yokai as opposed to humanoid enemies. Is there even a difference? Well, yes and no. The basic concept of depleting their key in order to make the fight trivial still applies. But when it comes to the approach on how to actually get this to happen, that's where it's different. As you remember, versus humanoid enemies, the strategy basically revolved around either knockdowns or guard breaks. However, neither of those technically work versus yokai. Whenever you deplete their key, they become staggerable for a set period of time giving you a window to punish their misbehavior. If you fail to capitalize on it with some MASSIVE DAMAGE during that period, they will regain their key back, thus resetting your progress. Hidden Yokai before you deplete their key does pretty much nothing, since they can poise through all of your attacks and trade everything back at you, ensuring your trip to the shrine. The key difference between facing humanoid enemies and yokai in Neo is that yokai guys do not block. This means that skills like kick are a lot more effective, since you can always get a follow up going. However, you should be cautious, since yokai can poise through it very easily. So basically, if you want to use all those fancy special key damage combos, you have to know what yokai you're facing and when you can go for a combo and when you can't. This requires some experience, good timing and, well, I feel like it's just too much effort. There is an easier way. Despite kick spam being extremely viable, it's not the most efficient solution. Every yokai in Neo has a certain weak point. For example, yokai with horns have their horn as a weak point, which is pretty obvious. The Wheelmong guys have pretty fragile back face, you know, on the other side of the wheel. For Cyclopsu Yokai, it's the eye, and the list goes on. Every Yokai in Neo has something, except probably the fucking Umbrella Yokai, like really. If you know what their weak point is, please let me know in the comment section. Anyway. Those weak points are what you want. Those weak points are your target. Landing a single hit to the weak point instantly renders yokai helpless, staggering them and depleting all of their key in one hit, allowing you to open up with a combo. Against the horn yokai, you can use high stance light attacks since they generally employ vertical swings and will more or less auto aim at the horn if you hit them head on. Or you can be fancy and use throwables like stones. Anyway, for Psychropsu, you want to bait an attack that lowers the eye to the ground level, so you can poke it out. When it comes to Wheelmonk, it's pretty fucking easy. Seriously guys, why do you even struggle with it? Just bait the fire breath, walk behind him and hit its face on the back. Very simple. Unlike humanoid enemies in Neo, yokai fights are sort of mini boss encounters with their own set attack pattern and weak points. So the easiest way to deal with yokai is to learn to nail their weak point. It's all pretty simple. Now weak point aside, there is another viable strategy that doesn't work that well against humanoid enemies, but it is extremely effective against yokai. Elemental debuffs. The problem here is that humanoid enemies like Mr. Munishige or others really like to block a lot. This makes it hard to start a combo and apply elemental debuff, since elemental debuff builds up only on successful hits. However, since yokai don't block, they're really, really wide open for any sort of elemental debuff you can find. There are two ways to apply elemental debuff. First one is the obvious, using a weapon with specific elemental affects. Second one is using your guardian spirit Pokemon and spamming the talisman attack. Both work very well, but why not use both? The cool thing about Neo is, is that it's it's a really an awesome game with tons of cool features. So applying two debuffs of a completely different nature will convert it into one mega big super debuff, completely demolishing your opponent. So you poke a bit with your water spear and then send the Kato to scorch the yokai. 
The result, as you can see, is pretty fucking devastating. If you're wondering what all those fancy elemental debuffs do, let me give you a quick roundup. So, water gives you around 10% defense reduction when applied. Lightning slows down your opponent. Fire acts like a poison, slowly chipping away your enemy's health. Wind reduces their ability to block, which is pretty useless against Yokai. And Earth debuff doubles the key consumption. Neat, isn't it? So yeah, that's that's about it. We're finally done with the basics. You can use all those cool little tricks to make your experience more enjoyable. Dominate Yokai and humanoid enemies left and right. Or you can use Slot Talisman and trivialize everything. It's really up to you, but with basics being done, I'll be covering more advanced stuff next time, like breaking down Guardian Spirit attacks. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.